teacher may add? Welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn on how to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. So, ano pat hinihintay mo? Halina't matuto with teacher may add. Bago natin simulan, let us define first what is a prime number. So, when we say prime numbers, these are numbers greater than 1 that have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinabing prime number, meron lang siyang dalawang factors, yung 1 at kanyang sarili. For example, we have 2. 2 has only two factors, 1 and 2. Another one is 13. 13 ay meron din siyang dalawang factors. Ano yun? 1 at 13. Another example, we have 17. 17 has also two factors, 1 and 17. At marami pang iba. We have 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Next is a composite number. When we say composite numbers, these are numbers that have more than two factors. Sabihin, tatlo, pataas ang factors pag sinabing composite numbers. Halimbawa, we have four. Four has three factors. Ano-ano yun? We have one, two, and four. Next is 15. Isip tayo ng factors, dalawang factors na pag times natin, 15 ang magiging sagot. We have one times 15 and 3 times 5. So, ibig sabihin, merong 4 factors ang 15, which are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Another example is 21. 21 has 4 factors. We have 1, 3, 7, and 21. Lahat po ng numbers na merong oh, more than 2 factors, ang tawag sa kanya ay composite number. So, let's have factors. So, when we say factors, these are numbers that are multiplied to give a product. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung numbers na kapag binumultiply mo, ay makakakuha tayo ng product. Halimbawa, we have 5. Ano-ano ang mga factors ng 5? Okay, 1 times 5. Another one is greatest common factor of GCF. So, when we say GCF, it is the highest factor that is common to the set of given numbers. Numbers, so ibig sabihin, ito po yung pinakamataas na magkaparehas ng factor sa given set of numbers. Meron tayong tatlong paraan sa pagkuha ng greatest common factor. Meron tayong tinatawag na listing method, prime factorization o tinatawag din nating factor tree, at continuous division na tinatawag nating ladder method. Let's have the first example. Find the greatest common factor of 12 and 15 using the listing method. Sa parang ito, ililista natin lahat ng factors ng 12 at 15. So we have 12. Ano-ano nga ba ang factors ng 12? We have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So ibig sabihin, ang mga factors ng 12 ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Next is 15. Ililista natin lahat ng factors ng 15. So, we have 1 times 15, 3 times 5. So, merong apat na factors ng 15 which are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now, let's compare the factors of 12 and 15. So, ano-ano ang mga common factors ng 12 at 15? We have 1 and 3. Okay, ngayon. Ano ang pinakamataas na common factor ng 12 at 15? We have 3. So therefore, the greatest common factor of 12 and 15 is 3. Let us use another method on how to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 15, which is prime factorization. O mas kilala natin sa tawag na factor 3. Okay, so halimbawa, we have 12. Mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factors ng 12, which are 4 and 3. Since ang 4 ay hindi pa prime number, mag-iisip ulit tayo ng dalawang factors ng 4. So, ito ay 2 times 2. Since 2, 2, and 3 are prime numbers, the prime factors of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Next is we have 15. Mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factors ng 15 which are 5 times 3. 
Okay? So, 5 and 3 are both prime numbers. Kaya, ang prime factors ng 15 ay 5 times 3. Okay. Next is to compare both prime factors of 12 and 15. Okay? So, titingnan natin kung ano yung magkaparehas nila. Ano po ba ang common na factor sa kanila? Okay. 3. Ano pa? So, wala na. So, ibig sabihin, ang greatest common factor ng 12 at 15 ay 3. Another way on how to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 15 is using continuous division o mas kilala natin sa tawag na ladder method. So, we have 12 and 15. So, mag-drawing tayo ng inverse ladder at mag-iisip tayo ng prime number na pwede i-divide both 12 and 15. So, we have 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay? Next, how about 4 and 5? So, meron bang prime number na pwedeng i-divide both 4 and 5? Okay, wala na. So, the greatest common factor of 12 and 15 is equal to 3. So, kung titignan natin, magkakaiba man ang method, pero pare-parehas pa din ang kanilang greatest common factor, which is Three. Let's have another example. Find the greatest common factor of 72 and 24. So, unahin muna natin yung listing method. Okay? Let's have 72. Ililist na natin lahat ng factors ng 72. Okay? So, ano-ano ba ang factors ng 72? We have 1 times 72, 2 times 36, 3 times 24, 4 times 18, 6 times 12, and 8 times 9. Okay. So, ang mga factors ng 72 ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36, at 72. Next naman natin yung 24. Ililis na natin lahat ng factors ng 24. So, we have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, at 4 times 6. So, ang mga factors ng 24 ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Let us compare all factors of 72 and 24. Ano-ano ang mga common sa kanila? Anyway, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So, kung titingnan natin, ano ang pinakamataas na factor 72 at 24? The greatest common factor of 72 and 24 is 24. Gamitin naman natin ang method na factor 3 of prime factorization. We have 24 and 72. So, let's have first 24. Mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factor ng 24. Halimbawa, we have 8 times 3. Ang 8 ay hindi pa prime. So, ibig sabihin, mag-iisip pa tayo ng factors ng 8, which is 2 times 4, or 4 times 2. Okay. So, ngayon, si 2 ay prime number na, kaya okay na yan. So, we have now 4. So, 4 is not yet a prime number. So, mag-iisip tayo ulit ng number o mag-isip tayo ng factors ng 4. So, we have 2 and 2. Or 2 times 2. So, 2 and 2 are now prime numbers. At the same time, yung 3 is also a prime number. So, therefore, the prime factors of 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Next naman natin yung 72. O mag-isip tayo ng dalawang factors ng 72. So, we have 8 times 9. Okay, since 8 ay hindi pa prime number, mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factor ng 8, which are 2 times 4. Okay, so we have now 9. 9 is not yet a prime number. Mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factors ng 9, which are 3 times 3. Si 2 ay prime number na. We have now 4. 4 is not yet a prime number. So, mag-iisip tayo ng 2 factors ng 4, which are 2 and 2. Okay? 
since yung 2 and 2 are already prime numbers, okay na yan. So, yung 3 at 3 ay already prime numbers, kaya ang prime factors ng 72 ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay. So, ngayon, i-compare natin yung prime factors ng 24 and 72. Ano-ano ba ang common sa kanila? So, we have, let's have pairing. I-prepare natin yung common. So, we have 2, okay, 2, another 2, and another 3. Okay? So, yung both prime factors ng 24 and 72 ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So, ipag-multiply natin lahat sila to get the greatest common factor. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So, ang ating greatest common factor ay 24. Gamitin naman natin ang continuous division o tinatawag na ladder method sa pagkuha ng greatest common factor ng 24 at 72. So, we have 24 and 72. Mag-iisip tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide kay 24 and 72. Since 24 and 72 are both even numbers, so pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 2. So, 24 divided by 2 is 12. 72 divided by 2 is 36. Okay, next. We have 12 and 36. Uulitin natin. Mag-iisip tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide kay 12 and 36. Since pareha sila even number, pwede natin siyang i-divide by 2. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Okay, next. We have 6 and 18. 6 and 18 are not yet prime numbers. So, again, mag-iisip tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide kay 6 and 18. Okay, so pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 2 ulit. So, we have 6 divided by 2 is 3. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay, let's have 3 and 9. We're going to think of a number or we're going to think of a prime number that is divisible by 3 and 9. So, ano yun? We have 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, we have now 1 and 3. Wala na tayong pwede i-divide kay 1 and 3. Let's have the numbers on the left side. We have 2, 2, 2, and 3. So, itatimes natin yan lahat to get the greatest common factor of 24 and 72. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So, therefore, the greatest common factor of 24 and 72 is 24. Kung i-co-compare natin lahat ng method na ginamit natin, we have the listing method, prime factorization, or even continuous division, pare-parehas pa rin ang magiging sagot nila. Nasa sa'yo kung ano ang gusto mong gamitin at kung saan ka mas nanadadalian. Bye-bye!